Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande and in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a torque equation of a DC machine. Now let's first discuss what is a torque. I think in 12th science, you have heard about this term, what is a torque. Torque is nothing but force into perpendicular distance. It is used for a rotational motion. So let's consider this is what is a figure in which you will observe that how to find out a torque. The equation of a torque is nothing but F into R sin theta, where this F sin theta is the perpendicular distance and R is the distance of this object from this side. Now, qualitatively, we can say that what is a torque? The torque is nothing but it is the tendency of the force to cause a rotational motion. So it is the cause with the help of which the rotational motion can be achieved. Or if I want to bring about a change in the rotational motion, then for that case, we require a torque. Let's consider this is a figure. Now it consists of North Pole and the South Pole. This is what is armature is nothing but a rotor. Now here you will observe that this is what is a conductor. Now, if you carefully observe here, whatever distance of this conductor from the center of the shaft is nothing but R. And whatever force which will be experienced by that conductor is along these, that is it is along tangential. So therefore, torque is produced at the circumference of the rotor and rotor starts rotating. Now, whenever a DC machine is loaded either as a motor or the generator, but obvious the rotor conductor carries a current. These conductors lie along the surface of that particular rotor and these conductors lie in the magnetic field of an air gap. Now, therefore, each conductor experiences a force. Basically, the conductors lie near the surface of the rotor at a common radius, let's say R, from the center. So, therefore, the torque which will be produced around the circumference of the rotor and rotor starts rotating. Whenever that machine operates either as a generator at a constant speed, then whatever torque which is developed, that torque is equal and opposite to that of a provided by prime mover. And in the same way, whenever that machine operates as the motor, then whatever torque which is transferred to the shaft of the rotor and it drives the mechanical load. Because the mechanical load is connected to shaft, whatever torque which is produced, that torque will be given to the shaft and therefore that torque will be taken by a mechanical load. The expression whatever for a generator and a motor is the same. Now, we know that whenever any current carrying conductor is placed in the magnetic field, a force will be exerted on it. And therefore, because of that, because of that a force which is exerted, that conductor starts rotating. Now, whatever torque which is developed is nothing but F into R. F is the perpendicular distance and R is nothing but, or F is the force and R is nothing but a perpendicular distance. Now, therefore, this torque is produced because of electromagnetic effect and hence this torque is also called as electromagnetic torque. Now, the torque which is produced in the armature is not fully utilized by the shaft for doing any sort of useful work or mechanical work, but the sum part of it gets lost because of mechanical losses. The torque which is used for doing some useful work or in order to do certain mechanical work that torque is called as a shaft torque because already we discussed that the mechanical load is connected to shaft. Now, here we have to di discuss about a torque equation of a DC machine or DC motor. So, therefore, let's consider this diagram. Now, here you will observe that E is nothing but supply voltage, RA is nothing but armature resistance, after that EB is nothing but back EMF which will be produced, IA is the current which flows through the armature. So, therefore, this is armature and to the shaft lo load is connected here. Now, from this diagram, we can write the equation as E, that is voltage which is applied, equal to EB, that is back EMF which will be produced by a DC motor, plus IA into RA. Now, here we are discussing about a torque equation and as we have to find out a torque equation of the DC motor, so therefore, whatever equation 2 that we have, we have to multiply it by current, that is armature current IA. So therefore, to the left hand side, when we multiply by armature current, then it is IA into E equal to IA into EB plus IA square into RA. This is what is your third equation, where 
वॉट एवर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आई ए इन टू ई इज नथिंग बट इट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल पॉवर इनपुट विच इज गिवन टू दिस आर्मेचर आफ्टर दैट दिस आई ए स्क्वेर इन टू आर ए इज नथिंग बट कॉपर लॉस इन द आर्मेचर ना वी नो दैट वॉट एवर टोटल इलेक्ट्रिकल पॉवर सप्लाइड टू द आर्मेचर इट रिजॉल्व इन टू टू कॉम्पोनेंट फर्स्ट वन विल बी अ मेकेनिकल पॉवर विच इज डेवलप बाय द आर्मेचर एंड बट ऑब्वियस सेकेंड वन इज लॉसेज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस आर्मेचर रेजिस्टेंस ना the mechanical power that is pm which is developed by the armature is given by pm equal to ia into eb so treat it as as equation number 4 ia is the armature current eb is the back emf produced by that motor and pm is the thing but a mechanical power now we know that whatever a mechanical power which is produced or because of that mechanical power what happens mechanical power that rotates the armature can be given in the form of torque t and speed n so therefore pm equal to omega into t where we can write omega equal to 2 pi n so therefore we will get one another relation for a mechanical power which is equal to pm equal to 2 pi small n into t now if we equate these two equations if you observe carefully for equation number 4 left hand side and for equation number 5 left hand side is same so we can equate these two equations but whatever value of n which is there in equation number 5 it is nothing but revolutions per second that is rps and t is the torque in newton meter so after equating these two equations what we will get is ia into eb equal to 2 pi small n into t now from this expression we can write a formula for torque that is t equal to eb into ia upon 2 pi n but we know that what is the formula of back emf eb equal to 5 n z p upon 60 a that we discuss are in early video so therefore here capital n whatever this capital n is nothing but it is the speed in a revolution per minute that is in rpm so therefore what we will do here we will observe that eb equal to 5 n z p upon 60 a n is the speed in revolution per minute now we will convert that so therefore the conversion is small n equal to n by 60 where that small n is the speed but it is in rps now what we have to do is we have to substitute this small n equal to capital n by 60 that is capital n equal to small n into 60 so after substituting this equation in above equation what we will get is eb equal to 60 into n into p5 upon 60 into z by a so what you will observe this 60 and 60 will get cancel and we will get a back emf eb equal to phi small n z p upon a so therefore whatever torque equation that we got in a previous slide it was t equal to eb into ia upon 2 pi n so in the place of eb now i can put this value that is phi n z p upon a so what you will get t equal to phi n z p this ia is the armature current Divided by 2 pi n up, uh, into a. So therefore, here you will observe that we will get equation torque T equal to phi z p i a upon 2 pi a. That is, this small n and this small n will cancel out with each other. Now, whatever value of 1 upon 2 pi is nothing but 0.159. So therefore, we can substitute this value and we will get T equal to 0.159. Into phi into z into p into i a divided by a, but we know that for a particular DC motor, the number of poles that is p and the number of conductors per parallel path is z by a, which is a constant. So therefore, what we can write it t equal to k into phi into i a, where the value of k is nothing but z p upon two pi a. So therefore. whatever torque equation that we get for a dc motor is t equal to k into phi into ia that is from the above equation what we can say that whatever torque which is developed by a dc motor it is directly proportional to flux and it is directly proportional to armature current now how to change the direction of a torque the direction of a electromagnetic torque which is developed in the armature it depends upon only two things first is nothing but current in the armature and second one is the thing but a phi so if either of these two that is either flux or the current is reversed 
the direction of the torque produced is also gets reversed and therefore the direction of a rotation also gets reversed but either of one has to reverse then only your torque which is produced will get reversed but if we change the direction of both that is phi and ia then the direction of a torque will not change it will remain constant so this is what is a torque equation of a dc motor thank you